Hi, this is Cameron from QAV, and I just thought I would take this opportunity to walk you through the latest version of the checklist that I've been working on, designed to make it easier for me to export something out of Stock Doctor and process it quickly, particularly when we're looking at situations like today. I'm recording this in mid-April 2020, a lot of, lot of different things going on with the market. It's up, it's down, it's all over the place. So uh, we need to be able to sometimes look at lots of stocks very quickly. Tony's given us a way to do that, and I thought I'd walk you through my system. Pop over to Stock Doctor, and I'm going to go to my filters, and I'm going to go over to my reporting season filter. It's not exactly a traditional reporting season, but we are waiting on companies giving us their guidance. And we're looking at a large number of companies very quickly, so it does the job. Hit run on that, and you see it's given me uh, 459 records. That's a lot. We're going to narrow that down a little bit, but first of all, I'm going to save that to a CSV. I'm going to open up my checklist. And I'm going to uh, open that CSV in Excel. So I'm going to open from downloads. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here is the full list of 400 and something companies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of those. Dum, 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 dum. Copy them. And I'm going to paste them into this new tab on my checklist that I call SD export version. I've got an example line up there, which I will leave. I'm just going to paste the rest in. Okay. Might get rid of this uh, line here, don't need that. Okay, so now what I want to do is look at their price to cash. We're gonna filter this on their price for cash. Now you might recognize these uh, columns up here. This is from our old checklist, uh, but we're gonna take the price, we're gonna actually, we're gonna take these column, uh, these fields, I guess, and Chuck it in there, and I'm going to drag that all the way down to the end of this. To do, okay. Now I have the price to cash ratio for all these companies that I just exported. Save that before I lose my work, and now I'm going to filter this based on. price to cash ratio of seven or below, less than or equal to seven. It's the metric we want. Actually, I'm gonna add another one in here uh, and greater than zero. I don't really want a negative. All right. So that is the num that is the list of companies that we're going to look at now. Obviously, this is a little bit different from our traditional checklist because we've got a whole bunch of data in here up the front, but it's pretty easy to go through now. I can um, take a look at, uh, well, these are all going to be twos now. Is the price per share, cash per share, less than or equal to seven? I can scroll down through that, but I'm just going to take them really one at a time. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just sort of uh, freeze this, freeze the first column. And what I wanna do now is start to look at these individually uh, in terms of sentiment. How many have we got here? Oh, still a ton of companies. What I can do now is just go and check the sentiment for each of these one at a time. So let's start with A2B. Um, I'll bring up Stock Doctor, A2B. And I'll have a look at the sentiment. There we go. Share price sentiment. Hmm. If I draw a line through that, it's probably yeah, it's way below where it would need to be. 
So I can just give that a give that an old zero there. And I can work my way down the list until I find one that has a positive sentiment. And then I can go through and just fill in the rest of the uh, numbers here. And we'll end up at the end with a good old QAV score at the end. So if you want to try this out, if you use Stock Doctor and you want to build a filter that's the same as the one in the Getting Started Guide, it'll export and it'll plug and play nicely into this, I hope. And you can uh, do that to quickly analyze uh, 100 or so companies. Hope that is fun for you. Something else to do during quarantine. Ciao.